Hello darlings, Candace West here, hailing you from my beautiful corner of our lovely earth. Now today I'm going to share with you a secret to success, a principle that is key to the true achievement of any goal, dream, desire, even task that we have to accomplish. Now, and without the understanding and knowledge of this little nugget of truth, even smart goals fail. You see, we have this vision in our mind, this beautiful construction of ours, of what the end goal is, what we're journeying towards. We have it grand, magnificent, glorious to behold, and it's powerful. We know what it looks like, what it feels like, what it tastes like, what it smells like, what it sounds like. It's perfect. It's important to have this vision. If you can't see where you're headed, how can you reasonably expect to get anywhere? Now, as the Cheshire Cat once said to Alice when she asked him, which road should I take? He responded to her and with a question and said, well, where do you want to go? And Alice looked at him and said, well, I don't know. Then, said the cat, it doesn't matter. Now, this idea of perfection, while vitally important, is also incredibly damning for most of us. Um, it's this Achilles heel of the best laid plans of mice and men. You see, perfection scares us to our very core. This ideology that no mere mortal has ever achieved. How could we reasonably expect to achieve it ourselves in our goals? If we aren't perfect, how can our goals ever possibly be perfect? It seems a ridiculous notion that our imperfect selves could manifest and bring forth the perfection that is our dreams. On the other hand, could we ever settle for less than perfect? Especially if this dream is a brainchild so near and dear to our heart? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you can't eat an elephant in one bite. You're gonna have to take it a bite at a time and manageable bites, please, because you don't wanna choke and you definitely don't want to choke your dreams. You see, Rome wasn't built in a day, but they were laying brick every hour. And that is it, my friends, your nugget of wisdom brought to you by Athena herself. Progress, not perfection. Progress is what built Rome, not perfection. Harry Truman once said, Imperfect action is greater than perfect inaction. And Zig Ziglar offered sage advice as well, that you don't need to be great to start. You just need to start to be great. This idea of perfection scares us out of even trying. We defeat ourselves in our head before we can even put forth effort. Never try, never fail also never succeed. Our perception of perfection is all wrong. Now, Leo Tolstoy left us a little hint in one of his books about the true meaning of perfection. When one of his characters once said, if you look for perfection, you will never be content. You see, the reason perfection is never achieved is because perfection is not a destination. It's an aspiration. It's something to move you forward, to inspire you to do more and be better and to 
get you a little uncomfortable in your stash. Perfection is capricious. It bends and flickers, adjusting constantly to whim, will, passion, or persuasion. Day in and day out, our idea of perfection changes. What is perfection? Dali said, have no fear of perfection. You'll never reach it. So instead of being bound and gagged by an ethereal idea of perfection that no one can even put a finger on, why don't we instead move forward? Move forward, one step at a time. It may not be perfect to start with. It may never be perfect at all. But you have to start. You have to. Otherwise, no one will be able to learn from your words. No one will be able to congratulate you at your wedding or your graduation. They won't be able to enjoy your clean living room. They won't be able to experience a fuller life because of you. If you don't ever start because you're too worried that it isn't perfect enough. Even Mark Twain said continuous improvement is better than delayed perfection. Now go, do, move, aim, tweak, fire, reload, move, adjust, set sail, go and be the glorious person that you are meant to be. And now, when through fantastic feats of courage and strength and tenacity, you actually do accomplish your goal, then what? Then you set a new one, a higher one, and you keep moving forward.